Hi. Hi, everyone. This is Jinx Monsoon. Quack, 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 quack. This is Alaska Thunder. You're listening to Out Loud Orlando. The homo happy hour with justice. For, for real, real, for, for fun, fun, for, for everyone. everyone. Ah! Anus. And remember, I'm drunk. <laughs> Out loud Orlando, the homo happy hour. It's good! Um, good for you! For real, for fun, for everyone, you're listening to Out Loud Orlando, the homo happy hour, the most unique radio show of its kind on 91.5 FM every Tuesday on WPRK, streaming online and archived at outlouderlando.com and on your smartphone with the free tune-in radio. Back again at the White Party in Orlando, Florida for the third year in a row, getting to interview the current season queens of RuPaul's Drag Race, and uh, I'm really lucky to have with me Alaska, Alaska, oh, God damn it, I fucked up like the very first part of the interview. <laughs> very glad to have with me Alaska. And Alaska Thunderfuck. Alaska Thunderfuck yeah. and Jinx Monsoon. Dink Mon- it's pronounced Dink Munson, actually. Dink <laughs> Munson, actually. I had a question about the name, actually. Uh, I know you started doing drag at a young age, so mm-hmm. did you really ever have a drag mother? Is there a house of monsoons out there? No, <laughs> I'm kind of the first monsoon, but of course, I'm named after Eddie Monsoon from AbFab, so it's not even like I created it or anything. Jennifer Saunders is the mother of my house. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, I don't I don't think I've ever heard of the House of Thunderfucks before. I've heard of the House of Haunt. So is it a sub umbrella under that, or is there a Thunderfuck clan as well? There's not, but I do tend to like replicate myself, like some sort of like spawn or like amoeba. <laughs> right? So I love like replicating Alaska in, in anyone I can find. I like I like making uh, really fat Alaskas. I think they're really pretty. <laughs> um, other than hi becoming a part of the hi. gay vernacular, it's, a, it's part of the gay lexicon now. Other than hi, uh, what else do you really hope people will have taken from watching you on this current season of Drag Race? <laughs> um, uh, do drugs, be free, uh, and uh, be strong, and um, be nice. Where'd you grow up? I grew up in Erie, Pennsylvania. So you're a Pennsylvania kid? Yeah, and that's where newscasters go to lose their accent, so we don't have any regional dialect, but I, for some reason, sound like this. And how would you qualify your accent? I have no idea. I think it comes from um, watching too much Betty Davis. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's got kind of this, like, it's got kind of like a... California surfer lull to it. I think yeah. it kind of sounds yeah. a little bit 420 to me. Yeah, all she's the a time. little permafried. And I don't even smoke weed anymore. I anymore. used to like every day. <laughs> but you Maybe just it... blew a fuse right <laughs> back away. <in. laughs> she I'm used stuck. to talk like this and she was like, I'm Alaska Thunderfuck. I'm <laughs> <laughs> it's like when you make a face for too long and it freezes. It just yeah. sticks that way. You're like, hey, what's going on? Why is my voice this way? I haven't so, gotten high in weeks. It's like yeah. her vocal cords stepped in molasses. <laughs> <laughs> and I love the affectation of your voice, Jinx, just because when you turn it on it is incredibly sweet and, and feminine and is that, <laughs> I, I don't know what you're talking about <laughs> Alaska likes to do me with a Minnesota accent but I don't, don't, don't you know I don't know why I just go there um, I would like all the women in my family have kind of southern drawls and um <laughs> I think I've picked up certain little things <laughs> of the southern drawl but um the only difference between Jarek's voice and Jinx's voice is that I just like, I just kind of put it all up there and then it starts getting a little like, oh, oh my God, oh, what's going on? Why are my legs pushed back? Oh. Exactly. I didn't know I could get both my ankles behind my head. And I know part of the interview involved making out with the DJ. Yeah. Um, I know you talked about your grandmother helped encourage you to get into drag, your mother not so much, as it's become your career and mm-hmm. being on television, uh, has there been any kind of evolution of, of your mother's looking at your art? Well, I should clarify that it wasn't that my mom was like... I just know what I've seen on the show, yeah, so yeah. If I, I don't mean to misspeak oh, and no, like no, no, no. qualify your life in Dino uh, of 44 of minutes. Of course not, no. Uh, it's but, easy. <laughs> my, my mom wasn't like... It wasn't like my mom was against me doing drag. I just kept it a secret from her because I wasn't ready to share that part with my mom. And my mom was really worried about my like personal safety in, in high school and stuff. Like being a, a high school age drag queen can be dangerous, you know? And yeah. She grew up in the 80s when her cousin got beat up for the smallest kind of effeminate behavior, you know? Mm. So she she was really protective over me, actually. And, you know, um, only child? 
I'm the oldest of three, actually. Oldest of three? Yeah. So, but nowadays, you know, like my mom and I really, we love the fact that my whole career now is just me doing a cheap impression of her. Because Jinx is... Primarily based on my mom. Okay. Like the big blonde cougar milf is just essentially like my mom with a little bit more Jennifer Coolidge. And okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Good job. What about you? What about growing up and going to the high school? Did you start? What age did you start doing drag? Well, I always dress up in, in girls' clothes, and I used to get in trouble for like playing with Barbies when I was a kid, and like. Um, my mom told me like don't don't play as a girl. Don't read like, my notebook. You're not supposed to do that. No, I can't read your handwriting if I wanted to. What <laughs> the <laughs> fuck is that? I'm an attorney. It's you know, I keep secrets. <laughs> yeah, but no, I, I always dress up like a girl, but I got in trouble for it. So like for a long time, I sort of like just went into my own like personal world. Okay. Like, I hid from the world for like years and years when I was a kid. And then it was, like, when I was in college, I was able to, like, experiment with that again. And then, uh, like, all that sort of came out. Where'd you go to school and what'd you study? I went to the University of Pittsburgh. And I studied theater arts. Uh -huh. <laughs> and Can we start an active campaign to get you on the most successful alumni list? What other successful yeah, alumni I better. came from University of Pittsburgh? I mean, I don't make that much money, but I just maybe. think it'd be funny to walk through a college and see Alaska Thunderfuck on like yeah, I would a lot of plaque in the yeah, alumni hall. That'd be so cool. <laughs> yeah, contact, email them. Please. University of Pittsburgh. Yeah, please. So then uh, you started developing your character, and you had been doing it since a young age. And then when you were, did you go to college or yeah, you were involved I went in to, theater? Yeah, I went to Cornish College of the Arts and also studied theater and got my BFA in um, theater with an emphasis in musical performance. So were so you... Bo <laughs> both Alaska and I have degrees in, from art school. We're and, theater and faggots. We're theater, we're theater fags, and we <laughs> never once brought it up, Serena Cha-Cha. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, everyone... Why was, don't you get educated, mama? <laughs> <laughs> everyone was always <laughs> teasing me about that, because they're like, why didn't you ever once tell Serena Cha-Cha you also went to art school? And I was like, well... She was kind of, she was telling the world enough about And we couldn't school. get a word in edgewise and untucked. We couldn't. There was, was no time. I was re-watching all the episodes in preparation of this interview because that's the only way I know how to do research. And so yeah. the episode where she's and trying to... And because you're I'm not gay. That's just a rumor started by the guys I fuck. Oh. <laughs> but uh, no, her impression of Raja where she's trying to act, like it did. It turned into Japanese anime <laughs> passing out after every you know she, she didn't understand how to move your lips to the words well it was because we were all trying to turn we were all trying to make characters out of these iconic drag queens like take characters and make even more character out of them you know and she didn't really have much to go on with Raja because Raja's just kind of this like very, somber demure right you know fierce woman fierce, very yeah, static and, and very yeah, static and monotone model. sarcastic yeah. though and so she was trying to make a joke about her being old but and it, Serena, you looked older than her, <laughs> and used twenty-one, <laughs> which we heard plenty of times as well. So you came. I love you, Serena. Sorry. We both. Love, I mean, I actually I got along with Serena uh, great in the in the short time that I knew her. Yeah, but I like her a lot. It was really hard to. There was so much energy when it, there were like fourteen and then thirteen of us. There was so much energy. You really, even the people you were getting along with, you barely knew. Right. So even though yeah. I liked Serena Cha Cha a lot, I know nothing about her because it was like put fourteen was, obnoxious drag queen men in a room and just imagine. Just put fourteen that. gay just people together that. in a room and, you get and the then same five thing. cameras. It's like just putting imagine. fourteen feral cats in a cage and then shaking that cage. <laughs> <laughs> And when it comes to theater, are you more on the stage, behind the scenes, show production? Like what? Definitely what do you do? On the, <laughs> on definitely the on the stage. You give me a script, a song, a shtick, anything like that. I'm just not very technically minded. Like I can't really do the small, minute details and the tedious, like handiwork. I have to hire people. For so that give me some of, of your stuff. repertoire from the theater. You know, favorite plays, favorite numbers, favorite roles. Um, she played minor. Cosette. Uh, she was <laughs> Anne Hathaway's understudy for uh, Les Mis. 
Um, well, <laughs> recently I did. I played Angel and Rent in the Fifth Avenue Theater's production of okay. Rent. Okay, oh, that's a good one. Um, I played Hedwig and Hedwig and the Angry Inch with Balligan Theater in, in Seattle. And, I actually um, know what that is. I'm the world's worst gay person, but I know what that is. Yeah, it's a really, really good <laughs> I just good came out like three show. years ago. Like, I don't know a lot of shit. Welcome. So. And I, I, like to play, I like to play female roles and drag queen roles, but I've also played some male roles.